Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Cause I'm a boss. I didn't think for you to be proud of her. Of course you have. You are marrying a man who can support you. Hi ladies, it's Yanni and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the drama that took place with Halle Bailey, Chloe Bailey, and DDG. So Halle decides to address the R word nail salon experience. She responds by saying, y'all, it is not that serious. After a negative experience with a nail salon was described as the R word by Bailey's boyfriend, DDG, the 23 year old cleared up the situation that left her and sister Chloe taking their business elsewhere. So I'm driving, but I wanted to come on here and share what happened to me today. So, what is, why is it giving me a new route? Hold on. So do you guys remember a few weeks ago when I had told you I had discovered this amazing nail place and how it's like a place where they do Russian manicures and it's amazing and la 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 and I just am going to keep going back to that place. Well, listen to this. So Chloe just got back in town and she always has her nails done really nice all the time and never really needs them done but she needed her toes done so I told her about this place i'm like well come with me today to the place i've been telling you about the russian manicure place like it's good it's good so we were excited to go i set the appointment for 3 10 right i called the lady back and i made sure i'm like i'm gonna get there early my sister has something right before so she might be a few minutes late is that okay and she told me of course that's okay you know, 15, 20 minutes late is okay. Mind you, I'm thinking the appointment is at 3.10. So I get there early, like at three, they start taking off my gel X, everything's going well, I'm getting excited. My sister's coming, I'm like, ooh, I can't wait for her to relax. And everything, have a good time too. So I get there and immediately, like the lady starts saying, uh, where's your sister you need to check her in da, 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 da. and i'm like oh she's on her way i told you like she was going to be a few minutes late she's on her way though how long how long because she has we have back to backs back to backs mind you no one is in this place it's empty there's like one girl getting her nails done and no one else is in there but me i'm like okay she said she's like nine minutes away and then she like starts giving me faces like nine minutes isn't gonna work so i'm slowly but surely starting to get a little bit irritated starting to get a little bit irritated because i'm like wait a minute like i have been a consistent customer here for the past few weeks i, I brought like them so many people my glam team goes there now to get their nails done like i have really brought them a lot of customers and i just can't believe that they're acting this way over nine minutes so i start getting frustrated right and the aries in me i'm trying not to turn up like that and i'm just like you know what hallie just breathe just breathe chloe will be here soon it's gonna be okay she keeps going keeps going at me talking about well then she finally goes i'm sorry but we're gonna have to cancel her she can't get hers done today while i'm in the chair already i'm and then i start saying excuse me ma'am um literally like i have been here i told you that she was going to be late on the phone already before i got before we set the appointment and now you're telling me when my sister is five minutes away now that she's canceled while she's on her way i'm like 
that's not right like and i've been a consistent customer i've always been on time everything else like you can't just right like you can't just take the benefit of the doubt and be like you know what this girl has been good like we can wait a few minutes but you're gonna have an attitude with me and try to so i'm starting to get upset and then me and the lady start going back and forth because after all i've been i've been a loyal customer and everything and you're mad about nine minutes and she keeps going at me and so i don't know if you guys know but if you go to these like it's like a russian it's a russian manicure place so their english is good but they're like kind of really um how do i explain it? they're really direct so sometimes some of the things that they say like comes off like it's being rude just because their tone of voice but other times i would just you know not really take it that seriously but this girl she was like literally she walked over to my chair and is arguing with me about this so at this point i'm really upset and we're going back and forth back and forth back and forth and then chloe walks in and she's like i'm so sorry but you're gonna have to be camped and i said you know what in the middle of my toes being taken off i'm like you know what it's okay we will just take our business elsewhere and i get up my feet still wet my hands still all powdery and i'm like it's okay like no worries because i'm not gonna sit let you tell me that my sister can't get her nails done but i'm gonna sit here and get my nails done no like no so i got up and we both got up out of there and i said you know what god bless you have a wonderful day i didn't get attitude as aries as i could have chloe said i was still really nice but i just told her that is unacceptable and rude because i've been a loyal customer so that really disappointed me i got so upset i started crying Chloe was laughing at me and was like, Allie, it's okay, it's okay. But I got really upset because that's not how you treat people. Especially people who bring you customers and are consistent with going there. So I'm never going there again. Am I wrong for thinking that they should at least gave me the benefit of the doubt, especially since I was already there and no one was in there? Am I tripping? Like, I know, like, you know, you have to be on time for appointments and stuff, but if you have a loyal customer like that is just not the way being rude is not the way to go about it to me to me y'all let me know if i'm tripping though but i don't think i was chloe told me i wasn't so we just ended up going to another place that was close by that was great they were wonderful and i love the way they did my nails but yeah so i was pissed off I was really upset. I just don't like when I experience stuff like that. Like, at least just be nice. Holly Bailey felt the need to clear up the situation because the drama all started with a now deleted tweet by Holly's boyfriend, DDG, who accused the nail salon in Los Angeles of the R word, writing, this place is the R word towards black people. They kicked my girlfriend out while doing her nails. Please give them a one star. They don't deserve business. The rapper and YouTuber included a link to the business Yelp page, which was later vandalized with fraudulent one-star reviews. Of course, this situation ended up going viral and it all started with DDG's tweet. And then after Holly went on her Snapchat to clear things up, she felt the need to further explain the situation because her fans were not having it. So she decided to tweet, y'all, it is not that serious. I just was explaining my day on Snapchat and did not name any names. We went to another salon and still got our nails done beautifully everyone be nice to everyone and calm down about some nails please then the owner decided to respond on her instagram business page by saying not serious for you but our business ruined we still get phone calls messages and bad reviews so many years i worked so hard to open this small business and in a second you and your bf ruined it and you just laughing <sighs> Uh, my name is Layla and I am owner of the Perfect Nail Salon. Today we had an accident. Uh, we had a call and client who was loyal 
and she was a couple times already at our salon and she was totally happy that's why she was coming back and she offered to so many her friends to our place and we know that people like it's not random people came they came and they said from who they coming from which is thank you so much we we trying to be the best at the market anyways she made appointment today at 3 p.m for her and her sister later she called me back and she said like unfortunately they can't be on time and she wanted to reschedule 30 minutes late which i said i'm sorry we are fully booked today and we can't take you if you're gonna be, and we can't take you if you're gonna be 30 minutes late then she said okay she came 15 minutes late which is normal and i said yes 10 15 minutes you can be late but not more like she came 15 minutes we started doing her manicure because she had many and pedicure same like services then we switched her to pedicure and then i asked where's your sister because it was already 20 minutes and i said like unfortunately it's already a long time so we can't take her because we have next appointment in 40 minutes and she said no she's already coming and she's parking at the end of the day she was late 35 minutes and of course like i said like i'm really sorry like i know you are a loyal client it's not your first time you coming but unfortunately we can't take her because in 25 minutes we have next appointment and of course she said like your next client can wait i said like it's really disrespectful to have a client who is coming on time and ask her to sit and wait her appointment which is supposed to start at zero zero just because previous client was late and we take her even when you book online there is a policy it's 15 minutes she was late 35 minutes like it's like it's really disrespectful we, we're not working like that we respect all our clients and we always ask to be people on time she told me in advance that she's gonna be late but it was only 15 minutes not 35. now the short story why i'm doing this video because i'm not 35. now the short story why i'm doing this video because i'm pregnant i'm eight months pregnancy and this is supposed to be my last uh, week that i'm working because it's getting so hard it's so stressful and today after this situation when she basically like she almost argued with me that why i can't accept her sister and i explain which is normal but she didn't understand and then she said okay we are leaving i said i'm so sorry but we can't like we still can continue your service but not for your sister which she said no need and she just left of course like in my experience like there is nothing there is nothing how to explain like there is nothing dramatic there is nothing bad like we wasn't rude it just refused the service to climb who was late 35 minutes and what's happened evening i'm at home just came from work and randomly i started to see that on my yelp page every second i get one star reviews and i get so bad reviews where people saying like burn on hell we are racist we are very bad we kicked out someone like which is like okay i understand but when i see that people texting me that like then i understood that it's all about this person she posted on popular instagram pages she made a video on snapchat where she was telling half of the stories wasn't true but somebody 
for her posted on Instagram, where's the page almost 2 million, she posted, they posted like, go to this business page and write one star reviews, which is okay. But they texting me so bad. Now I get nonstop phone calls from uh, like different, different states. Like first I didn't know what's happening. I started to pick up the phone and people were saying racist, burn on hell, kill yourself. I'm sorry, fuck your business. Like, and I got nonstop these calls, nonstop reviews. Like they banded my, all my business pages. Now, like they banded my, all my business pages. Now I'm, now I'm really scared just to go back to work tomorrow in the morning because I'm pregnant and you don't know what's gonna happen. You know, what if I'm gonna go to my work and random people, you, cause you never know. She's popular person and how many thousands people now texting me, calling me what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm just scared. I'm just really scared, like just because you celebrity and you have million followers, you posting about, about, it's okay if you post about the situation, but you posted our pages where it's all information about our business, about location, about our phone. And this is not, not just business phone, it's my personal phone. And like, I can't sleep because phone calls, com calls coming nonstop, people, texting bad reviews they comment on my all my instagrams they commenting very bad stuff like i'm really scared and just because you're famous where's the like where's the how to say that like like i'm really scared i'm really scared about me and my baby and it's not my first day at this business and we never had complaints about that. Like we never were racist. We never were so rude with clients. Like this is our business. We can't be bad with our clients. But just because we couldn't accept the client who was late 35 minutes, who disrespect us and didn't want to understand us that we can't take her because we have next client and didn't want to understand us that we can't take her because we have next client they turn my life my business into the hell and it's just starting like it's it's happened four hours ago since they posted on instagram about our business about my place what's gonna happen tomorrow thank you so much and i and i hope that all these people who now comment on my instagram who is trying to hate me trying to say that i am racist we are rude we are bad just please think think a little bit that we are also human and it just nails alone we don't we we are not political we are not i don't know we are not group of I don't know, we are not group of people like who trying to be against of someone's, you know? We're just doing nails and because of nails to get so much hate from people and just be scared tomorrow to go to work, it's not right. Thank you so much. So of course, after the business owner's response hits the internet, DDG starts to get dragged. And one Twitter user wrote, what DDG did was so wrong. Holly's story was okay, but he added too much spice. Now this heavily pregnant nail tech is now living in fear. Then another Twitter user wrote, this ninja evil. Yeah, I really hope that lady sues. And I could not agree more. In my opinion, when it comes to this situation, 
I believe that Hallie was being hormonal and emotional and she got on the phone. She started venting to her boyfriend about the situation and she may have just simply overreacted like most women during this time within their pregnancy. Also, as a business owner, I can see where the owner is coming from because 35 minutes starts to cut into someone else's scheduled time slot. And so for Hallie to get upset and to be, in my opinion, just irrational, not logical at all, which makes me believe that she was being hormonal. She just assumed that because she was bringing this lady more business that she could get special treatment. I'm not sure if it was because she was bringing this woman more business or if it's because she feels entitled because she's a celeb. I'm not really sure, but in my opinion, when we consider this situation and me being a business owner myself, 35 minutes cuts into your next client's time. That defeats the whole point of being able to schedule an appointment. So for Hallie to not be understanding of that, I don't know, I just think it's weird. It comes across as entitled. And I just don't think that's fair. To me, most business owners will give you anywhere between a 10 and maybe a 15 minute grace period, but anything beyond that will ruin their entire schedule for the day, which could set them back, which would make them look bad as a business to the other clients that scheduled an appointment and they arrived on time. So I just feel like this entire situation was blown completely out of proportion. This is another reason why I'm constantly warning people on my platform that we as a society need to get both sides to a situation before we just automatically start attacking people and not have all the details. And that's exactly what happened with this situation. This may not be a relationship. This situation had to do with a business. And do you see how it negatively impacted this woman? Not only did it put her family at a disadvantage and she's currently going to be delivering a baby fairly soon, it also put her employees at a disadvantage and it affected their families as well. And it was just not right in my opinion. I don't agree with this situation at all. And once again, we have another situation with DDG and Halle Bailey where it comes across like DDG is trying to sabotage Halle Bailey. And there has been a consistent pattern with this behavior from him. DDG is going viral. He's currently trending on Twitter. Well, he was trending over the weekend on Twitter as a failed rapper after releasing his newest single titled Famous. And of course, once people on the internet got a hold of the song and went through the lyrics, people put two and two together and they assumed that he is referencing his relationship with Halle Bailey. Failed rapper DDG opens up about his insecurity over his relationship with movie star Halle Bailey in new song. So let's get into the lyrics. I'm trying to figure out what we gonna do. How we gonna get to the top? Filming a movie? Now you kissing dudes? You know I love you a lot. I don't give a F if that ish or promo. I don't want to see this ish no more. Why is y'all holding hands in the photo? You know I'm insecure. That's a no-no. I keep coming back. Want to leave you, but I'm too attached. Take you shopping. I'm thumbing through racks. Ain't no limit. I'm spending the max. All these ninjas that be in your DM trying to tell you they proud. But them mother effins don't even know you. So I want to know how. But I know that's just a part of the game. All these industry ninjas is lame. They just want you because you got a name. And because you the girl that I claim. All these mother effins all in my business. They be stressing me out on some real ish. I get so high. I can't feel ish. I get so high. I've been so insecure that I be thinking you really be effing ninjas you in movies with but on the internet I just be cooling it but in my head a ninja really losing it gotta be paying good because you keep doing it I might just tweet something just to ruin it I got a platform I'm abusing it it's a couple things about your job I want to know when you shoot your movie do these ninjas turn you on when you leave the set do y'all still text each other's phone just because they filming it it don't mean that it ain't wrong fall in love I hate that ish knocking me off my ground I can't blank with relationships. DDG has consistently shown and has openly admitted that he is insecure and jealous of his girlfriend and her success. And he creates these situations. He pulls these antics, especially when it comes to 
for her pregnancy. It is clear that Hallie is keeping this pregnancy a secret and she wants to have a private pregnancy. And I think the reason is because it's just better for business. And it's not that she doesn't want to come out and make the announcement. I simply think her team is advising her to keep her pregnancy private. And I don't see anything wrong with that. But one thing that I have noticed with DDG is he is constantly trying to sabotage her. So the first situation was when he uploaded a vlog and this was at the very beginning when people were speculating her pregnancy and things like that. There were a lot of speculations regarding if Halle Bailey was in fact pregnant and then he uploaded this vlog. And then there was another situation after that where he uploaded a photo to Instagram. He posted it to his Instagram story and it showcased a pregnancy pillow. Then there was another situation more recently where they were on vacation and in his vlog, he once again pulled another antic where he showcased that she was obviously pregnant in the vlog. So he is consistently coming up with ways to try to sabotage his girlfriend's success. And it reminds me of the Twitter thread that went viral not that long ago where it said the phase where you slowly start to hate your girlfriend. Okay guys, something is happening on Twitter and it is ripping up the internet. So get your tea and get your snacks because this is about to be good. <laughs> So a person named Lou made this post and said that phase where you slowly start hating your girlfriend is crazy. 101 million views. Basically, you point out things that make you realize you're starting to get the ick. He said when you keep messing up on purpose so that she can break up with you, but she keeps forgiving you. <laughs> Yo, you'll be having a bad day. And when she hugs you, it becomes even worse. When you start asking yourself things like, does she have to chew when she eats? This girl said, I hope girls are cheating on these men. After realizing you will still cheat with men. Damn. When she holds your hand in public and you feel like cutting it off. God. When you receive her text and it feels like a debit charge. <laughs> when you open a text thinking it's from the woman you actually want, but it's from her. Bro. <laughs> oh, they're, they're all busting up in the replies. <laughs> I'm dead. When the problem asks you what the problem is. When you can't let go because you haven't found her replacement yet. Bruh, these men. Coming up with this is a little too easy for these men, bro. I'm kind of, <laughs> what the fuck? Going through the comments and I'm wondering why not break up with them instead of this. <laughs> I'm wondering the same thing. These men are boys. Just stop wasting the time of another human heart, soul, and love life. Don't like it, then end it. You're right, bro, but I thought we were just having fun. But, okay, I ain't gonna hold you. It feels like they dead ass. When you have to spit on her back to pretend that you can because she doesn't turn you on anymore. Yo! What? I never... What? <laughs> what? What? Every, everyone is like, what the fuck? I, 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 even I'm like, what? I've never heard that in my life, bro. What have you been doing? Oh, my God. I feel so sorry for your person. Jesus died for a lot of things, but not this shit. This thread is inspiring me to remain single. Men are not good people. <laughs> no, this is so bad. When she finally catches you cheating, <laughs> stop. Oh, this thread is demonic. It is. This is a demonic thread. I'm not going to hold you. This is bad. This is so bad. When her hugs feel like you're getting mugged. <laughs> Yo, no. <laughs> this is bad. I thought this was a silent topic, but I see we talking about it. <laughs> Loud, we loud as fuck. Now, guys, I got something to show you, but listen. If you are truly not liking your relationship, just end it, bro. If you really love that person, let them go, bro. Let them know how you feel. Just tell them you're not feeling it. And, and bro, pr pr take care of their heart, bro. That's your person. Honestly, you guys, when it comes to this situation, Halle Bailey is choosing this man every day. She chose this man to be the father of her child. So I think at this point, we can't keep making excuses for these situations that keep occurring that make her look bad. Because at the end of the day, she has full control over who she allows in her life. And she has chosen this man 
to be in her life. We're just gonna continuously see a pattern where Hallie will have to get online and defend these antics that DDG decides to pull off and she receives like the heat, the backlash for it. At some point, it's going to become emotionally draining for her because it just seems like he pulls these antics like every few months. So that's all that I have regarding this video. If you would like to add to my commentary, please comment down below. Also, if you're new, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified for when I upload. And I hope to see you in my next one. Oh, 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 oh,